What's going on, man? Monster Beast in the building. Chilling, chilling, man. How you doing, sir? What's happening? I'm good, man. Um, you know, the audience don't, don't know, but we actually did an interview a few months. Well, this I think it was like a, a month. Months yeah, a couple ago. months ago, back at First Friday. Oh yeah. Um, it didn't go too well because you know I didn't have enough time on my phone. But we here now in downtown Phoenix at the Aloft uh, apartment complex. Pleasure to see you again, man. How's right. everything going so far? Steady grind, man. Steady grind. That's it. That's yes, sir. All. I gotta get to the juicy stuff, man. For the artists that don't know, like you've been in the game for quite some time. You, you know, off camera, you told me that you, you know, you, you made producers pretty much famous in a sense. A lot Not of not just me. <laughs> it wasn't just me, but I've definitely had my hand in a lot of producers' yeah. uh, success, like stepping stones, help them get to where they need to be and meet the right people. Definitely. Uh, I uh, got a lot of them on my plate. For sure. Who um, who can you name drop if you don't mind? Like some of the producers uh, that you most put on. recently that people would know. One mind, they did the unforgettable track for French Montana, uh, and no, another one would definitely be Six Sense. He did that Khaled song. Um, which the, which one? The, uh, one of them. It's it's what it's a it's a real big song. It was like number one in the country. He also did Drake singles like Six God. Nice. And running through the six with my woes. Like that. Look up Six Sense. S Y K S E N S E. Like Six Sense S Y K. Okay. S Y K. Yep. He from Nashville. These these producers all been together in Nashville at some point. And I'm the guy. I'm the rapper that they all trusted and made beats for that was able to put them all in the same studio before. Are y'all still in touch to this day? Like definitely. Because I feel like money changes a lot. Money and fame can fuck, like, change you, you know? <laughs> yeah, I mean, these guys definitely got famous and, and to a whole nother plateau. But we still talk. It's not like they, you know, paying my bills or nothing like that. Yeah. But I did help them get to where they need to go, and they'll let a person know. Moss helped me get here, no lie. Like they, they got it on my Instagram and Facebook, all that. They still follow me on. That. Who, who gave you the like the idea to help like people out, rather than help yourself out first and then help yeah. people out? Once you. God damn. Hold on, hold on. Now we good. So like. What gave you the idea, you know, to help out other producers and, you know, other rappers rather than helping yourself out and then, you know, helping others out? Really, I'm a student of the game, man. I grew up watching the greats like Jay-Z. Yeah. Dame, Jay-Z had a Dame Dash. Biggie had a Puffy. And I ain't no Puffy or Dame Dash. I'm actually the, I'm a rapper, but I know how to talk to people and I went to school for management. So, by me going to school for business management and music business, it was natural when I started with my group, the Hit Squad, to manage them. So, leading from that group, the Hit Squad, I still had that managerial experience in the music world. So, the producers I ran across, I was able to take them and put them in different positions. It just felt right. They was giving me beats. I'm like, shit, I might not be able to pay for a beat all the time, but I could take you to another producer who got major placements, and they can teach you what they did or give you some of their contacts. Right. That's, that's exactly how it happened. Have you um, networked with any major artists since you put your producers on? Uh, I've done a track with Jackie Chain. Okay. Um, I've done for shows. For most people, my bad, I mean to cut you off. But for the audience that don't know, Jackie Chain is from um, M M Mississippi, right? Huntsville, Alabama. Alabama, okay, gotcha. But he's probably more known from being in Atlanta and L.A. He's on the weed scene real heavy in L.A. right now. So. <laughs> you said he's on the weed scene real heavy? Yeah, the med medical marijuana scene. That's what's up. That's definitely one of my biggest lanes in his music, so. <laughs> I feel you. I, I, I kind of keep up with what's going on there, too. <laughs> but that... The management background is what made me naturally help the producers get to their next step. 